Down with dope. Up with hope. What? <laughs> the campaign slogan. Yeah, from Jesse Jackson. <laughs> uh, I was thinking like Bob Dole or something. Bob Dole. Bob Dole. No, not far. He, he said cheers. Oh, it's real cute. Mm -hmm. Who? Oh, wait, no. Are you can <coughs> game team? <laughs> cheers. Should I make coffee? Cheers. No. No. Cheers with the beers. No fears, we got beers for years. What kind of beer? Mm, not really. We yeah. have like two or three left, I think, maybe. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, there's four of us, so. I'm selling up. Is it two or is it three? And which one of us isn't getting the beer? You can battle it out. Yeah. What well, fighters battle turn? Battle the, <laughs> battle the beer. Hmm? Let's turn this into a 16-player uh, battle for this beer. I'm getting this beer. There's one beer left. And there's, like, let's just get, like, random people. Like, they don't even know about the beer. Player one wins alcoholism. Been in and out. Got to fight over some beer. This is gonna be a boring night. <laughs> Probably. Probably. Starting to show your fucking phones out. Yes, father. <laughs> I can have my Dr. Pepper out there, right? Oh yeah, that's, that's completely fine. You can have you can have a drink at the table. Can yeah. I have a cigarette? Yeah. Get over there. Oh no. Hey Falco. Psh, what the fuck. I only had like a trusty whip. Like Indiana Jones, and he's like, bam, 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 bam. I wish I had that power. Cancer. Oh, I wasn't serious, but I was just gonna sacrifice them. And Aaron has no table manners. Welcome to Phantom Nonsense. I'm Zach. I have no table manners. <laughs> I'm Dick. I'm also Nolan. Ooh. It's not how you do it. Oh. It's not how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you smell it? I have a, I have a problem. So bad. No, I naturally, I naturally go to smell things that are weird. I'm not, I'm not kidding. It's just whether I like it or not, it, it ends up happening. It's a bad habit that I've had for a long time. I've got something you can smell. No. It's not bad. It, if it smells like something I smell all the time, I'm not gonna go for it. Like the burning Shit. plastic and cardboard isn't something that I'm gonna like naturally go for it because it's not something that naturally happens all the time. Naturally. 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 Also naturally. naturally. Also naturally. <laughs> naturally also. That's like my... Uh, Welcome back to Naturally Also. <laughs> I'm also no one. <laughs> it's, it's like my British counterpart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, uh, my British always turns to Australian. I can't do it. <laughs> Welcome back to... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you from Texas now? Yeah. I don't know. Those, those Texas Brits. <laughs> I talk yeah. in the British. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a tea. So, hey, you disgrace my family. Hello, I'm from a Greater Britain. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh no. <laughs> what have we done? Here in Soviet Britain. Britain. Nothing, we don't, we don't have enough views for it to matter anyway. <laughs> So we talked about uh, Han Solo last week, mm -hmm. um, and apparently, very soon after that... Um, Wait, I still haven't seen the trailer. What? I haven't seen the trailer. You haven't seen the trailer? Yeah. Oh, I'm stupid. I haven't yeah. seen the trailer. Oh, damn, right? Well, better better get on that. I mean, just, you just say stuff. I mean, apparently, I'm, I'm excited now. <laughs> there, there's a Han Solo movie. There's a trailer oh, for it. Oh, no fucking way. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that there was a sports game this Sunday, apparently? 
Oh yeah, some sports ball got played. Wait, last yeah. week? Sports ball? Yeah. yeah. Last week? Oh yeah, I watched it. Yeah. It was a week. I laughed because a lot of people wanted the Pats to win. Right. Where they played American football. Yeah. It was American. The, the screaming pigeons versus the uh, <laughs> Atlanta you know two steppers, right? Say the Atlanta two steppers. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Everybody thought the Atlanta two steppers were gonna win because they had been deflating their uh, pole vaulters. Yeah. But um, turns out. Screaming pigeons had a had a had a trick up their sleeve. And that's it's called winning. Uh, yeah, apparently. <laughs> Being superior athletes. <laughs> Is that a, like a secret trick? Yeah, <laughs> little little known. You have to be born with it, by the way. You can't attain this from any other source. Well, some more Star Wars news has come down the wire. Uh, apparently, Game of Thrones is making a Star Wars movie. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Or it's the next set of trilogies. Yeah, either that or the Ryan trilogy. Ryan? Yeah. Ryan Johnson oh, is getting his own. Oh, yeah. D.B. Weiss? Bo- and Weiss, then, whatever his name is. They haven't said how many, but there will be a few uh, Star Wars series launching with the Disney streaming service mm. next fall. Oh, well, that's neat. I think yes. Yeah. Oh, of course they're making a streaming service. Yeah, did you know about that? No. Yeah. Yeah, that's... It's been a thing for a minute. Because Disney Channel was pretty lit back in the day. I never watched much Disney Channel. Never there was a pretty awesome Timon and Pumbaa cartoon. I, I knew about it. Never. I think I watched maybe an episode or two of it. If they have... Still the same actors? They've already got yeah, all... Of, they've already actors. got all the Disney Channels plus ABC. Now they have Fox. Um, so if they have, like, everything from their... Just from their television archive. That's... That's enough right there, plus all the movies. I, the Disney, especially now that they have Fox, the Disney streaming service will probably be well worth the money, especially when you consider the shows that will naturally be leaving Hulu and Netflix and all the other services. Because yeah. Netflix is pushing the fuck out of their their Disney connections while they still can. Yeah. There was like so many Marvel and Star Wars movies and stuff on there right now but mm. I don't know how I feel ab- about the Game of Thrones thing cause I'm not a big Game of Thrones fan but I do understand that most of its strengths come from the source material and not necessarily from the, the show itself well I mean production value yeah Game of Thrones had a you know it's just an amazing amount of money putting in yeah. every single one of those episodes, and it shines through. I mean, amazing amount of titties too. There's some great acting, also. <laughs> <laughs> so those tits can act. Some great tits. I'm sorry, that's like it's a good show. It's like uh, the uh, the equivalent of saying like you're looking at a porn magazine for the articles. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Just like some great titties. Really good acting, too. Right. Some good stories in those, man. Um, I haven't funny. actually but seen with, any of it other than like the first episode. But with the saga films coming to an end, presumably, there's been no mention of 10, 11, and 12. Um, it's, it's interesting to see Lucasfilm give, like, basically give trilogies out, out to people and see what the... I have, hopefully Ryan Johnson's story will be be a completely different part of the universe and a completely different, different story from what these guys are going to end up doing. See other Jedi. I'd I'd like to see one with without without a Jedi at all. Mm-hmm. I mean, like a Mandalorian war. That'd yeah. Be cool. I mean, is the Han Solo movie going to have any Jedi in it? I'm sure it will. I'm, I'm sure they'll shoehorn something in there. Maybe Darth yeah. Vader. It'll definitely have Darth Vader. That's, I'm pretty sure that's already confirmed. Mm. Everybody loves Darth Vader. Yeah. Everybody. Everybody. Mm. I'm pretty yeah. sure they've mentioned him every time in both uh, movies, 7 and 8. Oh, he's definitely been mentioned in 7 and 8. I'm pretty sure he was mentioned in Rogue One. Oh, yeah, he's in Rogue yeah, yeah, yeah. One. Oh, yeah, that's right, at the end, very end. I mean, you know, the, only movies, out, yeah, the right. only movies that don't mention Darth Vader are... One and two. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> yeah. Because he didn't exist. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Truth. Just a disappointing origin. The only two movies that really sucked. I like the second movie. 
Why? Uh, not why. How? Obi Wan Kenobi. Uh, okay. That was the first no. one, though. <laughs> no, I mean, he does the first, the second, and the third one. Obi Wan Kenobi's in oh, all three Obi-Wan, of them. Nothing. Sorry. And he's in four. Yeah. Five and six, technically too. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. This is the Obi Wan story. Fuck but but guy. Ewan McGregor's Obi Wan is just absolutely brilliant to me. I love. All of his detectiving and just everything he does. Pretty good. We've he, talked about this. He yeah, I know. He yeah. doesn't save the movie by by any means. No, so. no, no. I'm no. not I'm not saying that. But I and all things being equal, because Ian McGregor has a great performance in all three of them. Two is easily the weakest out of all three. I love yeah, I love Obi Wan's story arc in that movie. Not necessarily the execution of it, but I don't think that he's enough to make that one a good movie, even compared to Phantom Menace and Revenge of the Sith, Attack of the Clones is bad. Yeah. Yeah. There were some good spots in that movie, but most of it was... And uh, also in the second movie, the chance to actually see the Jedi Order, like, fucking all together doing things. It's something that we'll never get to see past that point. Like, getting to see all the Jedis out there. Most definitely. I think the... I think the Clone Wars, on every level, does a better job of that, though. Yeah, you're not wrong. Oh, yeah, no, I definitely won't Jedi, argue that. Showing the Jedi at their peak. The Clone Wars, like, cartoon, was, is 10 well, out of 10. It was a time for wars, so it wasn't time for mistakes. Yeah. Even though there was plenty of mistakes. Oh, yeah. Jedis were kind of dumb. Yeah. Reckless. It's like, it's like Luke says in Episode 8, their history yeah. is one of failure. <laughs> yeah. Um, speaking of a history of failure, um, <laughs> there's been some new footage from the Justice League cut come out recently. Yeah. Oh, what of Superman? Yeah. God, I haven't seen it. What? it it's uh, something. It was something that Zack Snyder had in the uh, in the movie, and it was taken out. It's uh, previously they uh, Henry Cavill had like teased a picture on Twitter. I think it was of him in the black costume. After Superman is resurrected, he wears a black costume for a little while, right. and like I got super hype about it, and then something uh, a little Zack Snyder cut of of that got released, and it was Superman walking through his ship, and I guess he was looking for a suit to wear, and w- the black suit popped up, and he just kind of looked at it, and then turned away from it. And I was just like, this why? Did. Huh? Why even have it done? Yeah. Like, yeah, what's the point? Just for nostalgia. Yeah. Just like I mean, well, yeah, just, just like, oh, right, here. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's like sure you're you recognizing that that it, it, it no was a thing, or it is a thing. It's a cock tease. Yeah, basically. Could use it later on. What for? I mean, never mind. Yeah, I mean, like, could, but get the, man, no, wear the, he should have worn the black suit for this. That would have been cool. Yeah. But that was it. Yeah, I no. don't other tra- I mean, man, a lot of a lot of trailers have come out recently. They shouldn't have blown their load on Doomsday so early. Man, God, I know, I know. There should have been a build up of something like that, a build up of Superman's character, and then that happening. Yeah. Already showing him be the the natural like the, the Boy Scout and that character, mm. and then having something like that happen. Dave, make people love Superman for who he really is, yeah. and kill him so hard. Like, mm. they killed him twice. Technically, in when? In the last Superman movie. In Man of Steel. Oh, oh, Batman vs Superman. They killed him twice. No, you just said they killed him twice. No, this the the one where uh, Razad turns into Doomsday. Yeah, that's Batman vs Superman. Oh, fuck. I don't know what I was thinking. Sorry. He doesn't die in Man of Steel. He kills Zod, Man of Steel. Spoilers. Oh, whoops. <laughs> no, but he died out in space whenever they blew up the nuke, and then the sun resurrected him, basically. Kept him alive, on edge. Huh. What's because the sun has dead? resurrected yeah, oh, oh, yeah, multiple no. well, times. He's a, he's, a, he's a plant superhero. He's a plant, basically. <laughs> he photosynthesizes. <laughs> well, the photosynthesis I, I don't think he technically needs to eat. He's a piccolo. Because that the sun is giving him enough energy that he doesn't, he just wants to be human so bad. <laughs> no, man. Okay, so does 
does Superman just shit everything out? Like, is that how he, he shits him? sunlight? <laughs> <laughs> but when, he eats food. When he eats, when he eats food, since he doesn't need the nutrients from it, just it, comes out it is quick. all just. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't. I mean, he's just chewed. It's, it's basically processed food. It's like a meat grinder. Maybe, maybe. Have we ever seen Superman eat though? Maybe yeah. He, maybe he digests. Have you ever seen so, shit? Yeah, that's the real nope. question. Nope, not seen that. Maybe he digests so effectively that he doesn't have to shit. Whoa, he never poops? He's like Kim Jong-un. Like, there's no waste product whenever he eats, so, like, everything. Maybe he, like, poops out oxygen, and it, like, goes through his skin. <laughs> instead of his yeah. Yeah. He expels waste through his skin. He's just, like, photosynthesizing So maybe shit. so, like, like, it's like a universe where Superman just smells awful oxygen. all the time. <laughs> his farts are pure oxygen. So it's great to be around him. Uh, and with how much he's probably, so like, you letting out. So you're trapped in a room with him, you might die, though. Right. Yeah, you're not wrong. Hmm. Food for thought. Oxygen's poisonous. That is food for thought. <laughs> just don't eat it. Death by <laughs> suffocation of Superman fights. Yep, I mean that'd be a one great, fart. And you're just like oh, that'd be a, that'd be a great way to like interrogate a villain of some sort. Like oh you know, they God. get him into a locked room and Superman just comes in oh there. He's just God. like it's like eating a burrito. <laughs> <laughs> you're running out of time, Brainiac. <laughs> Although it wouldn't work on him. Tell me where Lois is. <laughs> Mm, I got extra beans. <laughs> All right, Lex. Lex, this is a seven-layer. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me where you hid the rock. The rock. <laughs> <laughs> Dwayne Johnson. Yeah, so that's what I was thinking. <laughs> like, where's where Dwayne? Is he? Where's Dwayne Johnson? Where is he? There's an awesome where movie. is he? <laughs> There's a spinoff comic. I can't. Superman breathe. and the Rock. The, I mean, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm cool with that. Cause he is a superhero on his well, own. He's about to be. Uh, what's his name Black Adam yep which is really cool and yeah, April, cool. I'm pretty sure April next year they have yeah, uh, sure the Shazam movie is, has been set has been given a date alright which I'm cool Billy Batson man so we're still not calling him Captain Marvel anymore I, I mean I'll still call him Captain Marvel I mean Captain right? Marvel has her own Captain Marvel movie coming out yeah called Captain Marvel, Marvel. Yeah. Uh, okay so it's that two Captain yeah, Marvel Captain movies Marvel, coming out yeah. but, and yeah no, it, for the new 52 they, they started calling him Shazam like they actually right, switch yeah, it out right. which man whenever I first heard that I was just like every time he says it won't they just like change him it's like hi I'm Shazam into a kid just like <laughs> he could just be like hey I'm Billy <laughs> <laughs> all the time yeah Captain, so, Captain Marvel is March 8th and oh. Shazam is April 5th yeah so serious nice. they're right on top of each other just nice they should still have them both with the same name. And could, like, That'd compete. be so bad. And, like, they're all confused. Like, I mean, <laughs> they need Marvel. I mean, they need a suit. DC coming out with a character that has the name Marvel in it would probably be bad as well. Be funny. They're doing that's bad true. enough as it is. They need to. <laughs> no, that's that's what I'm saying. They could get some of the Marvel <laughs> <laughs> audience. So, oh, this is just, they could, they could just hide the fact that it's Warner Brothers for like until the very end and just like you oh, do it's, it's, a, it's a Marvel movie because nobody's gonna know who the fuck Captain Marvel is. Right. I mean, yeah, people will. What? Deadpool. What about do a good it? job of crossing over into another into DC? Yeah. Meh. Meh. Yeah. No. Man, Terry <laughs> Crews is gonna DC be the next. DC takes itself way too seriously in these fucking movies oh, yeah. for Deadpool. <laughs> Except for Batman. Terry Crews is going to be in the new Deadpool movie. Yeah. He's on that. Uh, the, he's in a. Deadpool's in a helicopter in one of the little scenes in the trailer, and it shows like six other people with him. And Terry Crews is one of them. And <laughs> that's supposed to be the X Force, I believe. Oh, okay. Yeah. The Expendables Force? <laughs> I guess. No, no. no. Is, that like the, like... is that like Marvel's Suicide Squad? No, oh, wasn't it the uh, the group that he was uh, Deadpool was with whenever with Logan? X Force. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That was original. It was the uh, the bla- uh, the Black House version of X Men, but for the government. Yeah, right. yeah basically. Before Deadpool and some of the stories had its powers. Yeah, if you've watched the uh, one of the Wolverine movies, you get to see a terrible, terrible yeah description of. Deadpool? Deadpool. Oh, oh you're talking about the the whole the, that's the <laughs> X Men Origins. Yeah, yeah. Wolverine, oh. Wolverine, where he he's fights Baraka, fucking, <laughs> fucking Baraka from Mortal Kombat. Oh yeah, he's, basically, Baraka without a mouth. Right. He's a merc with a mouth, and he sold his fucking mouth shut. Yep. How does that make sense? And then he had know. like every X Men. Like how, how it was his stupid. name? Is, he has a title of merc with a mouth, and I want to I want to so know who was the idiot. I bet that, some executive was like got his like. 
character art confused, and he brought it to a meeting one day, and it's like, this is Deadpool, and it's fucking Baraka from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> <laughs> it just pisses, pisses me off, because that's the only movie with Gambit at all. Yeah. yeah. So, and there's supposed to be a Gambit movie coming an, out, It was though? only for, like, what, ten minutes? Pretty much, yeah. At most. Yeah. One, one fight on a rooftop. Yeah. I didn't even like that Gambit that much, either. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, it was the there's casino scene, game, and game then he chases him out of the casino. There, yeah, with uh, uh, the Channing Tatum. Yeah. That is yeah. Gambit. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I was, I've been dubious of his acting skills until I saw him in uh, The Hateful Eight. And, uh, yeah, that caught me off guard, the fact that he was in it. He was expected. actually really great in it. I still need to see that. That was really good. Man, 21 Jump Street, though. 22 right, Jump he, Street. that was kind of... Yeah, I know. It was man. Yeah. Or Jonah Hill easily, I think, steals the spotlight in that. Like, oh, it was a Jonah Hill movie. Yeah. Channing Tatum just he was, was there. Name, was yeah. a name for it. Right. I mean, Jonah Hill already had a, has a really large name. I mean, yeah. doesn't right. be Channing Tatum. I mean, like, Channing Tatum, eye candy. Man, he's going to be uh, Channing Tatum. Wait, no, is it Channing Tatum? He's going to be Channing Tatum. OG Jonah it's Hill, though. Grandma's what? boy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> I sucked on my first titty for, eight, what was it, like eight hours? Yeah. <laughs> so that was crazy. I think it was more than that. Something like that, yeah. I was thinking like 14. <laughs> yeah. God. Allegedly, it's coming out next June. Allegedly? Allegedly. Mm. Huh. Yeah, there hasn't been a lot of hype for that. But, uh, apparently, like last month, it lost another director. Ooh. So, oh, great. Yeah. yeah. That's going to go great. Yeah. That's never a Seems good time. There seems to be a lot of that happening lately. Yeah. Probably um, just either contract issues or whatever. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's people stupid. don't want to get shoehorned as being a, like a superhero movie director. Yeah. Or be, like kind of become a new Michael Bay. That's, like, I'd be afraid of that as a director. You know, just like a spectacle filmmaker as opposed to... Michael Bay was talking about directing some superhero movie recently. I can't remember what movie it was. Um... I just saw this yesterday. It really sucks because once you get associated with that one thing, you can never do anything else. What do you mean? Like you can't like Michael Bay is he's really Transformers. he's Transformers, yeah. Yeah, but like he is Transformers. He has done so many other things, and yeah. he's got that same uh, effect. That's, oh yeah, that's the camera thing. shake. That's the thing, like <clears throat> explosions. Michael Bay destroy cities. Michael Bay did it to himself. Yeah, Armageddon's the same thing as fucking Transformers, just without the giant fucking robots. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Armageddon's a great movie. Yeah, but it's still over the top direction, everything like that's that's all he he does. Oh, yeah. Fucking or like Zack Snyder, you can tell Zack Snyder <laughs> by looking at yeah, him. Yeah, right. Yeah, speed up, slow down. Yeah, <laughs> speed up. Wash it out. Abs, boobs, it's butts. <laughs> Make it darker. <laughs> I mean, the abs, boobs, and butts just kind of comes with action movies and superhero movies. Yeah, I mean, superhero movies are action movies. You know sure. what? Yeah, they're they're today's Arnold Schwarzenegger and fucking Sylvester Stallone films. This is what we get now. Mm. <sighs> that's the way. I, that's the way I've looked at it. See, I don't necessarily agree with that. Um, I think I think that's the the old model of superhero movies. But I don't think you can have as many movies and good movies as you have in the Marvel canon, and them all just be summer action blockbusters. Homecoming certainly isn't. I don't think that Civil War is. Like there's coming of age films there's um so I'm looking for like ad- adventure films and like m- mystery puzzle films and stuff like that yeah like there's an undercurrent of of action but I mean the modern day like big action films are the Michael Bay films those films have always been shit shit movies like which ones like your big like Eighties Arnold Schwarzenegger like Total Recall and those kind of big like action movies. They're not good films. They're just fun action popcorn blockbuster right. kind of kind of movies. Total Recall you can actually analyze, but it's still not like yeah. I mean, it is a film. good movie. There yeah, are yeah. I mean, well, I it's like it's one of those movies where like the content's good. There's like a three dimensional plot going on. There are cool characters and an awesome world that's being created. But at the same time, it's you're like constantly being reminded that you're watching a movie, 
it lacks that immersive quality that like good acting performances and like a relatable protagonist can give you and when you see Schwarzenegger like fucking around on Mars <laughs> it's hard to be like it makes it better I mean it, it makes it super watchable but it doesn't make you feel like this is happening <laughs> Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Kinda. I don't want to agree it. with you. I mean, I fucking love that movie. I have a soft. Like... Oh yeah, man. No, just the yeah. It's a mind fuck all on its own. Mm-hmm. That movie. Yeah. It's great. Is he really even on Mars? Right. And I think your modern superhero movies are more in line with the original Star Wars and Jaws and Jurassic Park, like just summer blockbusters in general. They're is or can be a sense of action to them, but I don't think that they're necessarily defined by that as a as a genre. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I can singing of it as plot development, action scene, plot development, action scene, plot development, action scene. Like that it's normally how it goes in all of those movies. Yeah. Just like old action movies. Yeah, but does it does it though? Like usually the the action scenes are like set pieces like there might be like a tiny scuffle or something but like it's usually not like some big like showdown or something until like halfway or three quarters of the way through the through the movie Mm -hmm. but anyway before we uh, go to our first break uh, last thing to talk about is Johnny Cash is going to be the Joker. Apparently, no, I mean it's uh, it's just there. It's in talks. Oh, okay. He wants to be the Joker. Oh, okay. Joaquin Phoenix. No. He could do it. He could totally do it. I don't know. It's an origin movie. I feel like he's too old. He is too old for that. Well, uh, you could have the, the the version of Joker that's like he's already an established crime lord. Before yeah. He's like, it would be. It'd probably be set in the uh, current age, DC universe right now. Mm-hmm. It's it's gonna be its own parallel thing. Yeah, it's yeah. It's not in the it's not in the universe. I mean, it, they could do it where there's the Joker, and then they they could do it like uh, I just lost it in my head. They just made an animated movie of it last year. It's where, the killing joke. Yeah, the killing joke. Oh yeah. I mean, they could do it like that, where Walking Phoenix is the Joker, mm-hmm. and like it does flashbacks of young. Yeah. I'm blanking on his name. Joker? No, I mean, he, has a, he, had, he had a real name. No, I hope they don't do Jared Leto and then make oh. Joaquin Phoenix the old version of Jared Leto. <laughs> Sounds awful. <laughs> How did he get rid of all the tattoos? Yeah. <laughs> Makeup. Just cut them off. You know, I got these scars. <laughs> Tattoo removal. It was a really painful process. <laughs> it took a few years. Do you know how hard it is to get a tattoo off your forehead? How hard? How hard is it? <laughs> Not very hard. It's just painful. <laughs> yeah. My, vote, my vote is still for Paul Dano. Uh, I don't remember. Who if we were going to do something like that where it was an older one, I would vote Willem Dafoe. Yeah, I wouldn't want an older one. Mm-hmm. I'd definitely pick Mr. Dafoe. Uh, there will be blood. Um... Is he the? Uh, He's the twins. He's the preacher. Oh, and the, yeah. okay, all right. Yeah, yeah cool. Paul and Eli. All right. Yeah. Have any of you seen the uh, um, the new Venom yeah. trailer? I hate it. You hate it? Yeah. yeah. It's by, it, there's no Venom in it. Well, duh. They don't want to ruin anything. They don't. Want... But give something, even a tease of just seeing him like jump on top of a building or something. If, like show us what he's gonna look like. If the movie. This is the main character move. This isn't like some. This isn't, this isn't a Spider-Man movie. Where he's like the third villain to be revealed, like some kind of big reveal thing. If the movie can't hold on its own without revealing with like out revealing Venom until the movie comes out or like whatever, it's not going to be good. Like if it if it needs if it's relying that much on the reveal of Venom and everything, mm-hmm. that's that's not good for it. It's just a teaser it's not, too. So yeah, but if you're gonna tease anything, just like. Show like five seconds of just venom. That yeah. would that yeah. would be, probably, be more no, effective. They'll, they'll, they'll probably, probably be another them. trailer. Yeah. I'm sure there will. Oh yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Maybe the only time venom comes out is whenever Carnage is out too. 
I hope not, because Carnage normally comes afterwards. But I mean, it could happen. I don't. Are they gonna make an independent Carnage movie? I doubt it. Yeah. No, I I thought this was supposed to have uh, Venom and Carnage in it. I think it is. But I also Meh. here it's supposed to be an Origins movie, which doesn't make sense. But whatever. For we'll, For who? For Venom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But how's he gonna in, interact with Carnage until they go to fucking? How are you gonna have a a Venom Origin movie? Without ever having Spider-Man in the goddamn symbiote, that's what yeah, I want to know. Yeah, because that's how it gets introduced. Yeah, the, regardless of regardless of whether or not it's from space or Doc Connors and Spider-Man invented, there are different ways you can bring about the symbiote. Yeah, but it has to it has to hit Peter Parker first because that's the whole driving force behind Eddie Brock and yeah. Venom's connection is their hatred for Peter Parker and Spider-Man. Um, at least in Spider-Man. <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder if it's going to be uh, what's his name the, the kid I can't remember his name uh, Tom Holland yeah Yeah. I wonder if it's going to be him in it there's or if he's going to be in it yeah there's been some rumors and talks of of some cross pollination there but how deep that goes we'll have to wait and see I want it to be good because I love plus Venom Infinity War is coming out soon is a, isn't Infinity War coming out into this year is Venom a part of that I don't know about that. Not either. I doubt it. Well, uh, it's supposed to, the Venom is supposed to release later this year, isn't it? Uh, Venom is this summer, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then yeah. Uh, closer to fall is supposed to be Infinity War, right? No, Infinity War is this May. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Damn. It's coming. And this, well, that's a two part, right? Uh, or a no. three part? Is it no. not? Mm -hmm. No, they're. Uh, Avengers 4 is as a yet untitled, but it is not Infinity War Part 2. Are we going to yeah. get a Captain Universe in the Marvel movies? I don't know. He's just like the power cosmic. Yeah. He's like chooses a certain like character, and then, I mean, that's how they usually <laughs> overcome like Galactus or right. Thanos whenever he shows up. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't really know who that is. Well, uh,. Uh, he's got like a full white bodysuit with like blue arms and it's like or I'm, I might be mixing that up but it's like blue white and red are his colors and mm. uh, it's just basically the ultimate access to the power cosmic which is like you know the power cosmic um, like the power is cosmic what's his name again? yeah like the same thing that the silver surfer and Galactus use yeah yeah I think I know that What's his name? That's Captain Universe. Captain Universe. Captain. Mystery Universe. Something like that. Fucking Captain Universe. Captain Universe. Yeah. yeah. Captain Underpants. <laughs> <laughs> in Marvel, yeah. does he have the cosmic? He has the cosmic. The power cosmic. It's in his underwear. Yeah. Spider Man's been given access to it. Captain America has. Yeah. Yeah. It's an action figure, but old action figure looks like. Yeah, I've seen him before. Legends. Half broke. Um. If it ever fucking loads. And I can see him. Yeah. He looks neat. Do you think we'll ever get a Marvel Zombies movie? Ooh. Think uh, we'll get a DC zombie? Blackest Night, you mean? Blackest Night would be awesome. Yeah, it would be so cool. Don't know how they're going to... Right. I think we're... There'd have to be a build-up to it. Yeah. With a, which would mean that we're going to need a good Green Lantern movie. You know, now that I think about it, considering, like, the... the uh, consumer base for these movies, it's probably too young for them to be making... Like Marvel Zombies and have it be actually compelling. Yeah. We could get a good animated series or film out of it, though. See, I feel like Blackest yeah. Night could be done live action. I feel like it could. Yeah, that, that could. I mean, more, more so than the... There's a lot of good story to yeah. it. There's less less gore, too, than Marvel Zombies. I don't I mean, know about that. Well, I mean, like almost, like, almost every Marvel character gets absolutely decimated in... Yeah, I oh, mean, and they like never win. They never beat the zombies in the, yeah. those stories. Batman's not in that story either. No, I mean he is, but it's Dick Grayson as Batman mm. during that period of time, yeah. which introducing a Dick Grayson would be awesome, or a Nightwing, and maybe in this Dark Side fight, Batman gets sent back in time, and then they get to make a movie all about Batman traveling through time to make it back to his current 
place. What'd you Batman mean? Quantum Leap. Because then you could see Jonah Hex. You could see him fight a oh, fucking why Kraken. Would you do Batman. You could Flash. you could see Vandal Savage first get to be next to that rock that gives him immortality. <laughs> There's a lot of I mean that it, that could just open up a, a lot of different stuff. Has Solomon Grundy been featured in a film yet? <laughs> Not yet. I don't think so. That'd be cool. He's got some nice cinematic qualities to him. Yeah. Born on a Monday. Yeah. Born on a Monday. Penguin hasn't been... Well, I mean, Penguin, Danny DeVito is Penguin, but yeah. that's somebody <laughs> that they could use again. It's been long enough. Danny um, DeVito is the Penguin. Oh, yeah. Just in life. <laughs> yeah. Same with Jim Carrey as the Riddler. No. Oh, come on. No. I don't think that Jim Carrey's just Jim he Carrey in a Riddler up. costume. He was chewing the scenery as hard as he possibly could. Yeah. He was uh, chipping his teeth. Uh, yeah, <laughs> literally. He literally chips his teeth. No, uh, no, yeah, he's just Jim Carrey in a Riddler costume. Right. <laughs> a very bad one. Yeah. It's just a spandex. Yeah. yeah. It's fucking ridiculous. I mean, he had multiple different costumes in it, but he ended out in that stupid-ass spandex. Right. Yeah. You know who was really bad in that movie? Tommy uh, Lee Jones. Yeah, Tommy Lee Jones. <laughs> yeah, because he's just trying to top fucking... Yeah, he, he had no choice yeah. but to try to, like, match that. Yeah, he absolutely had a choice. And it would have been the right choice to play the straight man. Right. Yeah. But it's like that's classic True comedy duo. Yeah. And that's what is <laughs> inevitably happening there. Nobody's taking the Riddler seriously. It's like fucking just play the straight man. That's the only way to get a laugh in that situation anyway, because right. you're not yeah. gonna out crazy <laughs> that motherfucker. Right. <laughs> no, Jim Carrey is the crazy. What yeah. if they had the Joker and the Riddler together? But Jim Carrey is the Riddler. It's gonna suck. Because right. the Riddler's gonna seem scary. Yeah? What? Yep. Yeah? What? What happened? Are we okay? Oh, it's, still, it's still going. Are still going? Yeah. yeah. It's just oh, no. Way. He just has a timer on for some reason. Okay. Okay. What? Okay. All right. Why is, why is it flashing zero, then? Because the that's, timer just... Because that's the timer. Yeah, the timer was, just ended. It was the, a marker. Oh. We're like, oh, hey. This is to let you know. That was turned on forever ago. It was raining. I thought, I thought, you, I thought you got the uh, the idea of that. No, I thought it was actually going to stop recording. Oh mm-hmm. no, no, no! It's this. That'd be neat. The, I wish. Yeah, we probably could do that. I mean, I don't know. Though. Is that connected to this, the OBS? What? The timer. No. Oh. No, the timer is part of the monitor. Commercial. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nolan, and I'm also Nolan. You know, there are a lot of theories running around out there that haven't been properly checked to see if they hold water. Here in the information age, there are enough shaky ideas about the world as we know it that the truth can often get lost in the weeds. Armed with a discerning mind in one hand and the sharpened tools of the scientific method in the other, we hope that this show can serve as a machete to help cut through the thickets of bullshit and logical inconsistency that plague our world and elucidate the path through the mire of misinformation and lead us into the gleaming arms of Veritas when we ask, does it science? And we are back. I just want to remind everyone that didn't see the post, um, there will not be an episode of Does It Science this week due to some unforeseen technical issues that we came across in the editing process. So resume schedule next week on that. um, And... Back to conversation. Um, everyone has seen Super? Yes, Mr. Cliff Notes over here, though. <laughs> yeah, no. I uh, have, uh, you know, gonna cheat off those tests, but, you know. You read okay. Super. I read mm-hmm. Super. That yeah. it's, it's all right here, dude. <laughs> I got it. Man, baby Jiren. Baby Jiren! Oh, my God. Reminded me of the uh, the strongest... Uh, fighter in the universe that Beerus ever went up against from uh, mm-hmm. the last tournament. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Monaka? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. The little nipples. Little nipples. Little nipples. Not well, like big nipples, but. Or maybe they're just like little boobs. Those are like straight on speed bumps. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what I'm Like, you could pop Monaka. some tires with those. Probably. Be a great way to defeat somebody. <laughs> Poke out their eyes. I think he's small enough. He's like head range for some of the characters. Well, some of the characters in there have some big old eyes. He could like clutch into him because he just like freezes up and he's like, his nipples happen to like fall on his face. And Jiren. <laughs> Even Jiren. And Jiren's face. Jiren <laughs> defeated by nipples. I mean, that's how he has most of his powers is because of the eyes and how like they change. Like, dude, 
it'll change color and a certain thing will happen like a like his fist will turn red and his eyes like have a red flash or he does this like little energy shield and it's yellow his eyes flash yellow but Monaka's gonna knock his eyes out with his nipples <clears throat> alright blinds him <laughs> and Vajiran just walks back in pain and falls off oh, no. if, if Jiren believes that strength is justice and essentially might makes right then what right does he have to be by his own moral justifications does he have to be mad about his family being killed they were just weaker if that's his like well doesn't it like wasn't that what eventually led him to believe that yeah but it just doesn't make sense as a as like um, what's something for like as a as a defining moral trait, or or something to, like, to be mad about that, but to take away, to take away from that that strength is, like, that what's right is what's defined by what by strength or power. Was it done like a slow burn to that? Because I read a few different things that happened to him before he came to that realization, or at least in the synopsis I read. Yeah. Did he just immediately consider that? No, it was a. There was other. Well, I, I can see thing. that, like, if uh, if your life is just constantly bombarded by catastrophe, you might to in order to like. Uh, I mean, make that seem okay, or you know. I mean, I, you from the beginning, you just uh, like aspired to get stronger. As he right. got older, He's... and then he got a whole bunch of followers, and then he was able to attack the person that killed his tribe. Sorry, cool. and then uh, they all failed. Right. A whole bunch of people died. Yeah, and then all those people that was sided with him went and sided with the bad guy. So he's just like, I gotta get stronger. His ba- I mean, it was very Goku esque. Yeah. Very. But uh, I think it was you that said it. Uh, it's like Goku if. Uh, Tien and Yamcha and Master Roshi all of them died. Yeah. Yeah. Except, no. Nah. Because we see that not all of them, but a hell of a lot of them in the in the Piccolo arc. And that's really one of the few times that Goku actually like shows his strength of character is when his friends die. And he has to be the he has to be the hero. And like that is one thing that I'll say for Universe Seven over Universe Eleven. For all of Universe Eleven's uh, talk about justice, a Jiren's je- definition of justice is entirely warped and I- incorrect, and Topo has no like conviction. He threw justice to to the wind as soon as it was inconvenient. Like Goku and Vegeta. Goku can consistently, in spite of for the most of the part being a a bad character, hmm. as, as far as like having depth and everything, and Vegeta, especially in this last few episodes, have always shown themselves to be much more morally resolved hmm. than than that. Yep. Which I think is interesting with the the juxtaposition of. Uh, universe two and the whole love bullshit universe eleven and the justice thing and how they hype that up, but when you peel it back, they don't really understand those concepts as much as they claim Thank to. You. Yeah. I mean, universe two, I feel like moreover, did a good job at expressing love than uh, universe eleven did justice. Yeah. I mean. It was annoying, but damn it, did they get their point across? Their shitty, misguided point. <laughs> <laughs> Love. The Whoa. way they're speaking about it, yeah. Yeah. Like, Love. Was, yeah. Me love you. I mean, they're much more consistent than Universe Eleven is with justice, except Dispo. Dipo, Dispo is all about that good justice. He was cool. Dispo <laughs> just cared about being fast. What are you talking about? <laughs> but um, man, no, Frieza, Frieza was, was going to make a deal with him. He was the guy in the universe. <laughs> Frieza, oh my God, Frieza was going to make a deal with him, 
to but like wait. to help them win. But but, but wait, Topo is stronger than Dispo. Topo would have taken it. And Jiren is stronger than Dispo. So why is he the fastest? He oh, has a the... special ability that makes him faster. Maybe it's like technically like well, like, but he's not a specific that kind of movement that he has access to. Here's here's the thing in the actual sh- in the actual he show. He can time skip. Or the or the it's manga. Faster. Birder is the fastest. Like, yeah, if you look, think about it logically, then the strongest would be the fastest. Yeah. But they never really, really say that in the show. Right. So you can attribute it to speed isn't necessarily related to key or whatever. They they kind of did. They kind of did with the um, the Super Saiyan three being a little too klutzy. I mean, and every time you see somebody get stronger, they get faster. Yeah, but yeah. it doesn't necessarily mean that the strongest person is necessarily the fastest. Someone could be fast for just naturally. Like, like that could just be Birder's race is just... And the same thing with... Uh, with Dispo? Di- Dispo, yeah. Well, he's kind of a bunny, so... Yeah, I was about to say, yeah, no, he's a rabbit man. I mean, come on. He's a rabbit he's a, man. Jiren's exactly. not a rabbit. Literally a rabbit man. Jiren is some fucking... I don't see a, a race between Jiren versus he's a Birder. He's a gray. A gray? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, Shep. Hey. <laughs> Well, like he's literally an alien. Yeah, dispose of Lagomorph, and Jiren's a gray. That's why he can block hits with telekinesis. He's like, wub wub wub. Stare at that. It ain't gonna hit me. What? That's, that's it's what Jiren has. It's like that telekinesis block kind of thing. Because he would yeah. literally just stare down. He's got multiple powers. His eye, his eye, like his eye, little, his eye colors give him multiple. I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember. Didn't he just look at Frieza and like eye was blasts. like, yeah. "You're not hitting me." It was just like a powerful stare, which you, doesn't. How do you <laughs> <laughs> just, just maintain? Just like, that. just like push his eyes forward, like really intensely, <laughs> <laughs> just creating like. <laughs> Whenever he was meditating earlier, like even like random blasts that would like would try to like. Hit him on accident. Yeah, like, would just be like bounce right off of him, and, and it was like, like it was nothing there, but like it was right. like an invisible force field. It's it's either his like aura of key that is able to like. Yeah, it's kind of similar to uh, what Seventeen had, but in a more advanced, basically, because he has that Seventeen has the bubble. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that he can perform, but like that's visible. Man, yeah, they were very and they were very creative with him and his bubble in the show. Yes. Like for the arc. Do the extra shields? So like, man, the fist shield that he did that he used to like punch out the, the fucking wannabe pepperoni monster yeah, pepperoni. thing. The pepperoni monster guy. Pepperoni nipple guy. Now that part of the episode, not the pepperoni part, obviously, um, was really well done. I really enjoyed seventeen. Oh yeah. In this last episode, seventeen has been my favorite part of this entire arc, probably. Yeah, I can see that. From. This now, him sacrificing himself, like, all the way back to, like, uh, him shooting Universe 2 whenever they were doing their transformation. And Goku's just like, what the hell, man? He's like, why would we let them do this? <laughs> first first part up until they got wiped out for me would be the Universe 6 Sands for my favorite part. Um, and then probably 17. But Jesus redeemed himself in the last three or four episodes. Yeah. Brought himself back oh, up well, there. Ooh. Yeah, in power levels wise, yeah. I mean, character wise. Yeah. I mean, come on. Like during the Universe Six and Seven tournament, he redeemed himself pretty well. It's, he taught Kaba how to fucking go no, Super Saiyan. No, Saiyan. Vegeta's character arc throughout Super has been great. Oh, yeah. yeah. He suffered in in the Universe Survival arc oh, hard. Yeah. yeah. Up and up until almost getting knocked off what twice. Yeah, and not even just getting Three knocked times. off, just like. His motivation and who he is as a character has taken a major step back until he had his big, until the um, the royal blue transformation episode right. that brought it all back around and made Vegeta like reestablish Vegeta as who as who he is as a character. Uh, but before that, he's just kind of been there and it's kind of like his attitude's taken a regression and everything. But it's all good now. Ooh, and Gohan's actually been pretty good through the tournament. I'm. I wish they could have done more of them, but. Piccolo. Yeah, the Piccolo yeah, route was not. For all the. For all the characters, they had to balance. They did a good job of giving everybody some kind of respect through oh, the yeah. arc. Yeah. I love Roshi's 
Mm -hmm. I mean, mm. can't believe he self-destructed though. God, I didn't realize it at first. Yeah, I didn't either. Yeah, it's been the first time that uh, like Krillin and all of them have been like help useful to me. <laughs> yeah, right. And, and re like repeating what's good, what we just saw. <laughs> Like, oh, what? No. He's dead how now, could he apparently. How could he self-destruct when they wished the bomb at him? Did they wish did the bomb at him? Did he just do, like, the Vegeta move and just no. explode his core? I mean, probably something no. like that. He, like, he, has, a, he has an energy or... core. Maybe he's able to Well, they have an amount of stamina energy, so it's like... Yeah. Keeps going and going and going. But I guess they have an infinite key reserve. Yeah. I'm yeah. pretty sure they only wished the bomb out of 18. They got they mm -hmm. they took the bomb out of sixteen, mm -hmm. and they wished the bomb out of eighteen. Seventeen just kind of went off somewhere, I guess. So. Yeah, hmm. became a park ranger and an excellent tactician, and a father, and a father, and a husband. And he's gonna take him on a cruise. <laughs> that part I was a little like, okay. <laughs> no, I love that. <laughs> I love that part, yeah. dude. See, almost cried. Whenever seventeen is just like giving himself away, I'm like, no. I mean, and that was an awesome, awesome way of using the bubble as well to save fucking seven or not to save Vegeta and Goku. Man, I wonder what else they have to offer with Frieza. Pure shit. Probably some more devious nonsense. But he's not going to stand a chance against Jiren. Maybe We've already seen that. It. We've made that. He doesn't have to. It's a time thing. We're going to see another yeah. Piccolo route with Frieza. Hmm? We're going to see another Piccolo route with Frieza, probably. Maybe I mean, Goku is going to redeem himself. Frieza's going to try to kill die him. from the fucking Piccolo shot. <laughs> He's going to, like, dodge. Yeah. At the last second. Dodge! <laughs> <laughs> we learned his son's mistake. Hmm. Yeah, but I'm... He's going to be trying to kill Jiren next time, every time he gets up, probably. So, maybe he does. Who knows? Well, the next episode is supposed to be Vegeta taking his last fall. Well, would that disqualify them? What, would, it, like, would it disqualify Universe 7 if the last person was killed? Because they're still going to have other people on the map. Frieza just killed them. I thought it was just a person would be disqualified. Yeah. Like you kill them, but then you, I mean, like you lose your spot. But if you win the game by breaking the rules, I mean, I guess they wouldn't care. All right. Mm -hmm. huh. Food for thought. Definitely. No. No. No food for thought. No. I don't think Xenosama would like that though. No, probably not. But it's probably gonna be too the last. Be the last God person. damn it. Falco. Bloody. It's okay. Hooper. Lay down, buddy. Hey. This is Falco, everybody. He Are you here? Uh, they, uh, we know. There's nobody there. There's nobody. Touch. That's it. Whatever. Let's okay, not pay you attention can't to just blame though. the Jews for all your problems. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sick of that. Call my dog Hitler? No. Yeah, I was calling him anti Semitic. <laughs> Bombs dropped. So even with all of that long convoluted backstory and everything else that happened this episode, still only one minute. No, it was three. Uh, yeah. No, it was three minutes left. Yeah. Last episode was four. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah, I figured it was gonna go like that. Good. Minute per episode. Yeah. I think it's kind of funny. So yeah, once they got to the five minute mark, it's just been one minute by one minute by one minute. Yeah, which the freezes was yeah, like thirty yeah. seconds. Seven quite means, literally, but the what would that, what the would that, fight. What would that boil down to? Like point one second of Frieza trying to be like, "No, nah, I'm gonna kill this guy," and then just get smashed again. Yeah, it's okay when you have a like a weekday series like Z was. Like that's that's fine. You get through five episodes a week. Pacing it out once a week is torture at this rate. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody should edit all the footage from the Universe Rival arc and put it in real time. Into one hour. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> a bunch of people getting knocked out. Me, I have to assume that like, <laughs> that, like what? you have to oh assume a lot of things yes. you've seen are happening <laughs> concurrently with each other. Right. So you have to have like multiple screens. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Just, just so uh, much chaos. <laughs> just get the uh, coming this summer. <laughs> I was just just thinking about get the character model from uh, of uh, the announcer guy from any of the fucking <laughs> Dragon Ball games. And just have him in one yeah, corner. Yeah, just like, <laughs> just, like Krillin that just becomes this like weird motif. Like <laughs> what? Because at all times, like for most of it, he's just like commenting. Yeah. He like there's just one still of the <laughs> Krillin shots. <laughs> I mean, we could oh, just no! <laughs> we could just put them like. Down and the, like we could like take oh, no, all the images, uh, <laughs> take all the images of them, of like uh, the audience and like put them down in the bottom, and have the fight going on the entire time up in the just top. Just Krillin just going ah, seventeen, <laughs> Goku no. <laughs> he used my move. <laughs> <laughs> Roshi, don't you do it. <sighs> It's alright. Mm. Yep. Yep. Yeah, this uh, this segment is definitely missing a, a black man. Definitely. Coco always has the best shit to say about Dragon Ball. I wish he got his fucking face here. <laughs> where you at, dog? Oh, I'll tell you where he's at. That's where he's at. <laughs> sleeping. Oh yeah. Like a bitch. Oh. Bitches sleeping be sleeping. <laughs> Bitches be sleeping. Yeah. Ooh, he said it. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> if he watches it, yeah. Bitches be sleeping. The black sleep. That's like the weirdest form of misogyny. Like only hating women because they sleep too much. <laughs> You saying Coco's a woman? Ooh. No, I'm saying bitches be sleeping. Assuming all these bitches are women. Although I guess I'm being really gender specific. Yeah. Right yeah. <laughs> yeah especially since little. Bitch we talk Anybody about can be a bitch. Yeah. Am I being too like? <laughs> Anyone can be a bitch. Maybe we are, Helen. <laughs> it doesn't just have to be women. You could have turned the tables on and just like got onto us for being. So, you know, you know. Well, what? <laughs> Just for assuming. Well, you guys were. You could I was the one assuming gender by saying that all bitches were women. No, you didn't. Yeah, because I accidentally implied that by saying. Accidentally. Well, accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> bitches be sleeping. <laughs> what meant that? But I mean, I guess the real interpretation of that is that all bitches, whether they be male or female or transgender, <laughs> or neither, be sleeping <laughs> to this theoretical. Very specific misogynist. <laughs> <laughs> Will we ever have a conversation that doesn't devolve into something vaguely racist or something? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't my fault. Uh, Murphy's Law. Damn. Alright. Anything that can be yep. perverted can will be. <laughs> I thought that was Rule 34. No, that's... Uh, well, what I just said is Rule 34, <laughs> but... <laughs> yeah. Murphy's Laws. Anything that can go wrong. No, if you, Rule 34 is, if you can imagine... Sounds like an awful porn. On internet. Right. Yeah. There's yes. porn of that. Yeah, there's porn of that. Yeah. Right. Of Murphy's Law? Yes. <laughs> there's there's porn of Murphy's Law. That is the, the Rule 34 of Murphy's Law. <laughs> <laughs> Those kind of go hand in hand. They, mm, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're welcome. Hand in hand. Instead of shaking hands or shaking genitals with each other's hands. How that visual effects be? The new Ninja Turtles TV show takes place in 2090, and it's a whole bunch of teenage kids and robots. A whole bunch of teenage robot, uh, like kids in robot suits, bunch of whole bunch and of they're robots. like shaped like the turtles. 
That's and Donatello is their <clears throat> splinter. Old, he's old, old Donatello. What? Yep. What? Yep. <laughs> what? Yep. Just make a different show at that point. <laughs> <laughs> Teenage Mutant Robot Turtles. That's the, that's I'm, just, I'm just so glad I'll be dead. That's not gonna happen. Well, I mean, they're not teenage. I mean, they're teenage, but they're not mutants. They're just kids. Teen- Michelangelo's are like a little uh, little girl. Uh, Leonardo's a dude. But those aren't those aren't even their names. I don't. Even, oh God, it's, those aren't even their names. They just have the colors. Does that mean? We does, will does not be mean, bringing you information on the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I will be, cause I'm gonna watch it. Uh, That'd be like a weird Arrow thing where it goes like back in time, and like it like you know flip flops back and forth between the past and then and how they got there and stuff like that. And where the hell is Leonardo? What's he doing? Cause Donatello's you know leading these. Did he? Did he just take some orphan kids? How did this happen? Take some orphan kids and let them live in the sewer. I'll buy you pizza. <laughs> this is the Teach you how to ride thing. a skateboard, kid. Directly to rule thirty four, aren't you going? Whoa, no. Yeah. He's you're just an old man. Trying to buy some kids some pizza. Oh my god. Uh, he lives in a sewer and eats pizza. Exactly. That's kind of his MO. <laughs> it sounds like somebody just free associated all the details. Like somebody who had like kind of heard of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Was just free associating what he thought it was, yeah. and then that's <laughs> they're like, "Oh no, that's yeah. <laughs> Why are we doing that?" <laughs> it's terrible. I don't know, but I'm I'm interested to see a, a new story and what happens. I think uh, it'd be neat I'm to not. see. I mean, it's, it's, it's you cool. can you can make a new story without throwing it's all wrong. the old story elements into a blender, and then just. Chopping that up into tiny pieces and just throwing it at a wall and blowing the house up <laughs> <laughs> and driving down the street, and going then, into a different house and repeating the same process pulling, for thirty or so minutes. Yeah, and then pulling it out of a hat at random and saying, "Okay, that's the new super, the new uh, Ninja Turtles um, iconography or what the fuck ever." Like it just sounds like a horrible jumbled mess. <laughs> Even before like I heard about like. Uh, female Michelangelo or old Donatello or all these different things like even just Raphael's leader no the fuck he isn't Raphael is not is not the leader of the Ninja Turtles never will be never will be times are changing no they're not you can't live in the past Ricky um I can't you're right cause that's if, Le- if Leonardo isn't the leader, then what the fuck is he? Because Michelangelo is a party dude, Raphael's the hothead, and and the loner, and Donatello is the tech guy. Like, what what role does Leonardo have if he's not the if he's not the leader? Right, because in the first show, remember the, the it's in the fucking theme song. <laughs> it was like, what was it? Uh, Mike or. Er, da- Fucking Raphael's cool but crude. Yeah. That's the lyric, right? Yeah. I don't remember. Uh, Raphael's cool but rude. Cool but rude. Yeah. Michelangelo. Le- Leonardo leads Donatello does machines. machines. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Michelangelo, Michelangelo likes to party or some shit? Uh, Raphael is cool but rude. Michelangelo is a party, party dude. dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Here's there was an half shell. shell. Turtle power. <laughs> <laughs> Which turtle power? <laughs> P-U-R-T-L-E power. You ever seen a turtle get down? Yeah, we need to wrap this up because I'm feeling, I'm feeling like watching some Ninja Turtles. Uh, so, what was this? This was 127? Super? Yep. Mm-hmm. yep. So, we have four episodes left. How do we imagine... The the tournament wrapping up. Obviously, it's gonna be a time skip into Z. Blah blah blah. blah After blah. seeing the previews, I, I almost don't even want to imagine. Like, I just don't care anymore. Vegeta's gonna win it. Uh, I just want this to be the last episode. I never want to watch it again. I'm gonna watch it again. That, no, I, I'm going to. That's your official prediction that Vegeta's going to. Yep. Going to win. Yep, he's going to win. Vegeta it. is probably gonna get knocked off. Nope. Next, next episode. Nope. Yep. Nope. Not gonna happen. It's red herring. No one. Hmm. 
Or he yeah. takes or he takes Jiren with him, one of the two. And I'm getting gets the wish for being the winner. I don't know if they have the balls to get rid of Vegeta now. I mean, I hope they I don't, you know, not do that because of that reason, maybe, but I think it is because of that that they may not are, like get rid of Vegeta. What's the next episode supposed to be called? Tell me about Vegeta Falls. Yeah. It's like last something. Uh, Vegeta's last fall or something about pride. Yeah. So pride and Vegeta Falls. Maybe he his pride falls because he has to sacrifice the fact that he doesn't want to fucking be merged with Goku. I don't know. Ooh. That would, that would... Because that was always the number one thing. Goku could do it either way. He'll do it no, if he but has to. Goku's the same as, the same as Vegeta. Yeah, he doesn't like doing it either. Mm-hmm. He, he wants to win the fight on his own. Yeah. But, I mean, if it comes down to it and right, the universe exactly. is at stake. Yeah. Are they really going to... Yeah, I feel like that they would do it. Prideful till the end, Vegeta falls. Yeah, right. Like that is was so direct. Uh, like that's basically that's, just telling you what's gonna happen. If that's a red herring, that's just like so over the top. Yeah. Like, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Why would you just name something that like and fierce? Why would you do it if it was true? Also, that's what I'm saying. I mean, there's a history of okay, them actually like yeah. hammering it. I all. mean, that's that's an anime trope. Yeah, you give, yeah. You give away the biggest right. plot element in the title. <sighs> you just gotta win. Hmm. If Goku, oh man, I, uh, I might just stop like watching. This, just like this episode gave away. You could have said the same thing about 127 and 17. What? That the title gave gave away. The title and the uh, and the uh, fucking trailer, the teaser at the end of the last episode, gave away that Seventeen was going to die. So it was kind of like, oh, that's too obvious. He's not going to. Not only did he get knocked off, but he literally died. Yeah, Vegeta's going down. Hmm. Yeah. <sighs> very. What if Vegeta's very going down? Goku and Frieza decide to fuse. <laughs> Let's don't get cancerous now. <laughs> I know. That's golden, like, to me, that was golden like... Golden Frieza with blue yeah. aura. And, golden oh, monkey. But the golden like, Ozaru. Yeah. Golden monkey. Man, I don't think there's enough stage left for him to go giant monkey. Why the fuck not? Because no. they, they, it's just so much little pieces of rock now. Because of fucking Vegeta. Yeah. Yeah, he's just... Giant, like, like skipping <laughs> golden Ozaru. Okay, I didn't know. <laughs> fuck golden... Fuck that in the ass. It's just blue. Just Ozero. Ooh, blue. Blue monkey. Ozero. Blue monkey. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that was a blue. <laughs> Maybe a blue monkey to have like Frieza's like little purple dome on the thing. No, Got shut the up. Nah, no, no, no fusion. It? Fuck fusion. Oh, Vegeta. just that? Yeah. Just royal oh. blue Ozero oh, Vegeta. Oh. And that's how he gets taken out. That's crazy. What, doesn't he need a tail? Or just a gross uh, yeah. tail? I mean, they, <laughs> there's been they times that they like he's G- instantly popped a fucking tail out. So Yeah. Yeah, they can. But they did Vegeta, a lot of things in GT. Like, so. okay. That's GT though. We're not talking GT. What if he like makes a fake moon and somehow still it like figured out how to like do it? What if he does a spear like without bump? a tail? What if he does a spear bump for a moon? I mean, pop what? shits a tail. Well, he out. can Vegeta's, create an artificial moon. Vegeta's tail yeah, he just had, hasn't he can come create back one. That's an that's an energy. That's the thing Saiyan. that Saiyans figured out how to do. Uh. What? Vegeta's tail like it wasn't like surgically removed. It was just cut off at the base. It just hasn't grown back since Namek. It could just like grow back. It could just pop back out. It yeah, happened to Gohan. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Royal yeah, blue, sure. oh, is a Royal blue, oh, is a Royal blue, oh, is a Royal blue, oh, is a Royal. I didn't know I needed that until now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, wishing so hard. Since that's not going to happen, I'm going to end up disappointed with the end of Super. <laughs> <laughs> Very much so. That what would if, be so neat. What if they watch this and they're like, oh shit, we fucked up. We gotta rewrite everything. Yeah. <laughs> no. Pull the books, pull the books. Long hasn't made it that far, they could just take this. Right. Mm-hmm. We've seen the mountaintop. Yeah. And now anything less. We know the perfect ending. ending. Yeah. And he also gets to knock out Goku, which that <laughs> and that makes him goes, feel yeah. just makes him feel even better. He goes ape shit. If there's anybody... Grabs Frieza and just like <laughs> kills him. <laughs> If there's anybody out there, I would love to see some uh, some fan art of Royal Blue Ozaru. That'd be really cool. Royal so Blue Ozaru. Royal Blue Ozaru. And then Kaioken Goku's Ooh. Ro- Blue Ooh, yeah. Oh. Ozaru. Oh. 
Then Vegito blew. I was about to say Vegito mm-hmm. blew. Oh, the roof. <laughs> Wait. Okay. So. <laughs> but what? But Patara has. Let's keep ac- going. Let's keep going. Patara Fusion has access to both of their transformations and and abilities and, and everything. Yes. Like Vegito, even though Vegeta can't, Vegito could go Super Saiyan three. It's unnecessary, but. So does that mean if we got Vegito now, we would have Royal Blue, Kaioken, times ten or, or twenty? We already have it. Yeah, I think he does. I think he's we done see it times one hundred. Yeah, I, what? I think we could see his times one hundred with a. Yeah. God. Yeah, but God. the amplification of Royal Blue. What was it? Really? Kaioken times one hundred. Kaioken times one hundred plus the instant instinct instinct Royal Blue. <laughs> Ooh. Instinct Royal Blue. Kaioken times one hundred. Vegeta. Ozaru. Ozaru. <laughs> Vegeto. <laughs> That's, no. like, that's the pinnacle of our potential <laughs> protagonist panel. Fan art, please. Please God. give us some fan art of that. Okay, so I think I think we finally just defined the, um, the, the power dream. scaling limit of the Dragon Ball. That is terrifying. It's please give but us that To fan see art. a blue Ozaru doing like uh, the in, the Ultra Instinct artwork, like the thing that, like the, mm-hmm. the way they do Goku, yeah. that would just be insane. <laughs> God damn. Seeing a final Kamehameha. It'd be a, a out of Kamehameha its mouth. Flash. Out of its mouth. Kamehameha f- with the, f- the, the final flash out of its mouth? <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know. It's just gonna be the entire ring gets destroyed. <laughs> it's the last one that gets teleported yeah. over. Come which on, is man. conveniently Vegeta and he gets to wish back Universe 6. Goku breaks the... Uh, the, uh, the audience thing because he's still an, uh, an Ozaru. Yeah. How much time everybody falls would that reduce? Or, or do, do they, the rings don't re- revolve around time, do they? Hmm? The guitar rings? I uh, know it's an hour. Oh, it's an hour? Yeah. It, unless okay. you deplete a certain amount of energy. Right. right. It's max an hour for mortals. Yeah. No matter what the power scale is. Right. That's just, that's the most you get for for a mortal unless you like Kai's merge forever unless they wish it. Wish so what, if they did that with Ozaru, wouldn't that like fracture? Like fraction the time out with Ozuru, I don't think so. It's not that much. It's only like would they have to put the rings on as they're? (laughs) Could you imagine two fucking berserk? Okay, let's royal blue instinct monkeys. (laughs) I mean, their base level is off the charts at this point. But let's just say that Goku and Vegeta are both a billion. Um, trillion billion. Come on. Mm-hmm. Trillion billion, come on! In the I'm, I'm feeling a quad in there somewhere. A I mean, we can go to octillion. It, yeah, like a standard deviation. <laughs> no, it's it's that's a real as as a base. Frieza was a million, and Super Saiyan Goku was a million in their fight. Like, actually, no, Frieza was a million before like he hit half power. So, God knows what we're at now. But Ozaru is a ten times, and then. <laughs> uh, times 20 from Kaioken yeah well whatever the base of base of Kaioken is and then that times 20 plus or more yeah or more up to 100 and then Batara is uh, is the two multiplied by each other so if Goku and Vegeta are a quadrillion then whatever the fuck a quadrillion times a quadrillion is a quadrillion lot. squared <laughs> yeah like they're basically like a googleplex I'm just I can't fathom this this amount of power Whoa. that's just unfair to Jiren <laughs> still, Jiren's, Jiren's still gonna beat him it's yeah, yeah. Jiren's yeah. <laughs> just gonna have to stare harder like. <laughs> his eyes just like pop they get, out they start squinting more. I start squinting. He's like, "Fuck!" Yeah. I, he I beats bet. the blue red out of him. What if, uh, in the final conflict, Goku just goes super, super Dragon Ball and like goes instinct and just like I got him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, yeah, I'd like to see him win with rock paper scissors. If Goku's <laughs> going to win, that needs to be the attack that he wins with. Yeah, basically. <laughs> 
Mm. Anyway, bye.